and welcome back to another session from the Air Users blog. And in this session, I want to show you how to use Expand in a way that you may not have used it before. Often we use Expand for individual instruments, but what you can also use it for is to stack the sounds and get that very kind of omnisphere type effect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one instance of Expand 2 and then I'm going to layer the sounds and show you the kind of tricks you can do to create very complex soundscapes. If you're making music for film and things like that then I'll give you some ideas and what it depends on as well is you getting used to using the smart knobs as well. So what I've got first, I've got the hybrid pad. So let's get that loaded in. I'm going to do it again. And there's down in strings here. Go into there. I'm going to open that up. As you can hear it's quite a nice string sound. What I'm going to add into its second is an instance of a kalimba, which is an African instrument. And what I'm going to do as well is turn the arpeggiator on, and then I'm going to blend them in. And if you can see here, we've got it also set on the same channel. So you need all of your channels set on the same MIDI channel. In this case, it's channel one. So here's kalimba, and the arp's on. So if I turn that arp back off for a second, nice sound. Then added into that as well, I've got the hall reverb. I'm going to turn that out for a second. It's a stereo delay. It's got that turned on and that turned on. You need to hit those buttons there. Let's give me the sense of space. And then there's the delay. If we add in the arpeggiator. On pattern one as well, as you come down here, you've got pattern one. You could try, try different things, but I'm just using that for now to get the kind of sound that I want. So pattern one, I could use pattern. Go back to pattern one again. Now what I've also done as well is I've pushed it up 24 uh, semitones to give me two octaves higher. Because there's the original. But I want it really high. What I've also done as well then is turn the cutoff down because I want it to be quite, I don't want it to be as bright as normal. I actually want it to create a kind of a feel rather than an actual sound. So we put those two together and you get this. And as you can hear, it's now too loud. So I want to bring that in to about there. So let's go to the third one. The third one is uh, bubbling metal in polysynths. And then what I've done there, because this, if you come to C here, this is where you can control it. I've pushed the attack time right up. If the attack was right back here, I've got this bubbling sound. And I want that bubbling sound. Got the LFO speed really quite high because if it was lower, you'd get that. And I want to, I want it to do that. But what I'm going to do as well is use the attack time to push it right up so it comes in very late. Hear that, and then also I've added in actually a drum loop. But I've turned the cutoff right down, got rid of all of that stuff, just got my kick drum in. Next thing I've done as well is if you turn the key track down, this is the key track, and the key track determines how it will change as you move around the notes. If it's up there. changes pitch. I don't want it to change pitch. I want it to be the same all the time wherever I press a note. So I've got that key track down there. So let's build that whole thing together now. 
And again, you can see we've got effects added on as well. So come to number one again. Might brighten that kalimba up a bit more. And what you're trying to achieve is that the whole sound needs to be kind of merging together and you're not quite sure what anything is. You just know there's different things going on. You're building a complexity of layers. So even with two, it sounds cool. And of course it responds to uh, velocity as well. Just adding the third one now. See, we're really starting to build some tension there with the three sounds. Now, I did the kick as well. Remember, this is one part. Now what makes it even more cool then, is you can then come to the easy section here. And the cutoff and stuff and everything can all be controlled, everything can be controlled here, so... Turn it up again. The whole thing grows now. Cut off. <laughs> 